Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so in, in today's video, so I'm going through my top 10 favorite Dream SMP villains. Of course, some of these aren't and technically villains on some people's views, so I'll let you argue. But understand, this is based on my opinion. And, and, but two extra things. One, and I have put on the audio, it has, it has to be that they have streamed at least once, so actual people, not objects of game characterization like the discs or the egg, those are disqualified. And secondly, don't forget to like and subscribe this this video so that you'll be able to actually see more. Who knows? I may even, even talk about, about the Dream SMP more. But if you guys want this. So let's get into the video. Okay. In 10th place is Nikki Neertu. Nikki is really interesting as a character. And falls down a villain arc Look really well, but her villainy was not as impressive as others. In ninth place, we have Puns. Puns was mostly more of a henchman, and but he consistently served Dream and also the Egg really well. He was practically a very villainous character. In 8th place, we have Bad Boy Halo, specifically when he was controlled by the egg. Like, he was pretty impressive, because he literally, he was directly causing the taking cannon life for Foolish, but he was controlled by someone else. In 7th place, we have Eret, especially involving the Lamanberg Independence War. Because, well, for example, the line, Down with the revolution, boys. It was never meant to be. That really took damage to the independence revolution. In sixth place, we have Tommy in it. Yes, he is the quote-unquote protagonist. But he is pretty he much also quite a villain. Because he kind of did instigate every single conflict on the server. All of them. Name one he hadn't instigated. Oh wait! In fifth place, we have the anarchist himself, Technoblade. This guy, he, even though he, from his own point of view, which I watched, that he is morally grey, he causing all those withers with Lebanberg, that's just villainous. In second place, we have the right hand man of Schlatt, the right hand man of Tubbo, and the leader of Las Nevadas, Quackity. This Quackity was such a villain, and and that he eventually just went down to just wanting money on a server where there's barely any money. In third place, we have a character which is currently going on a redemption arc, Wil Wilbur Soot. Wilbur, well, you also instigated almost every conflict when he created Lamanber. Like in causing it to get its independence. And, and also the My Lamanberg Phil. My Unfinished Symphony. Forever Un. In second place, we have the leader of Manberg and someone I personally really don't like. Schlatt. Yeah, do I have to say anything about this guy? He literally ran it with an iron fist and ran that iron fist down to the ground. He destroyed the Manberg, and Tubbo couldn't even bring it back after the war. Before first place ones, I'd like to give two honorable mentions. The first one is to Orson Dude, the prison guard. And he was pretty corrupt there, and willingly let two people die in that prison. And the second one is someone you'd not expect, Tubbo. Because he was also a corrupt ruler, and he was willing to actually just use nukes. It's just for protection. And, which kind of does go on to the real world with weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. 
And do I need to say anything about first place? Dream. Yes, it's wanting of half only, but come on. And throughout the entire method, he's used he's practically ended up the traumatizing whole bunch of teenagers in the pro and a whole bunch of people just absolutely messed up due to him. Even his own henchman sat now. That was just once him dead. So, yeah, that's my, my top 10 and favorite Dream SMP villains. I really hope you've enjoyed this. And if you haven't, and, and in fact, that's a kind of really annoyed at my replacing of things. Sorry, but if you've enjoyed this, hopefully you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll be posting more soon.